FreeMMOStation.com. What's up, guys? Scion Storm here, and I'm covering Revelations Online for FreeMMO Station. Now, the first thing I want to say about this game is a lot of people give it a lot of bad credit and just call it a Blade and Soul clone, and it's not original. And you know, with that said, it is kind of just like Blade and Soul, to be honest with you guys. They have a lot of similar things. It even has the art creator from Blade and Soul that did the same art for this game. So, yeah, there's a lot of things that's in common with Blade and Soul. But with that said, this game is a game on its own. It's very stylish. It has a lot of character customization, and in some cases, it has better character customization than Blade and Soul. So, like, kind of cut it, cut a little bit of slack. Give them a little bit of a break, because it's not bad. So, going into that, you had a different characters here, which you're basically going to see back to back. You know, we're going to see the Swordsman, we're going to see the Matter, um, well, actually, Master Swordsman, the Spellblade, the Warlock, the Gunner, the Healer, I believe the Lancer, too. So, this game in itself has only six classes right now, so there's going to be more, so I'm giving a little bit of patience with that, and I'm actually having fun with the game. There's a lot of boss fights in this game, and there's a lot of actually using different types of skills of boss fights. There's different levels of them, and it has a lot of character, you know, just character death when it comes to that. Now, I'm not exactly sure if I would call this character death, because this is just kind of like trolling. Like, that, I, the nature here is just a troll all the way around. And it, when I show you the, the guy version of it, you're going to be like, yeah, they trolled us really hard for no reason. Just just no reason at all. But that aside, you can have a lot of fun in the game. And I don't really think that the game is on a black desert sort of realm. But I will give the game uh, pretty much just as good as anything else out there. Now, I know people are kind of... They're kind of tired of, you know, the tab target and everything else, but this is more action combat. This is more Vindictus and Over the Top and C9 and Dragon Nest and, you know, of course, Blade and Soul. And a little bit like, a little, a little bit like um, Black Desert with the own way things are stylish and the way you have, you know, there's a lot of attitude in this game. As you see right here with the um, Gunner, she has a lot of attitude. Every, every, like, her moves are with intent. You know how they have some characters that are just like, yeah, you know, like, it, whatever, and they're attacking, and you like, it doesn't really feel like you're controlling that much, or it doesn't really feel like that the character, it's not believable. Because they honestly, that these characters are believable. Like, you see, like, with the temple out here, this is, this is believable. It, it is a video game, so you're like, you know, how could a video game be believable? But you like to identify with characters. So what I'm trying to say is that you can definitely identify with these characters. They're fun. You can get out there, be a lot of stylish with combos. Like, I do, like, various combos of different classes. Because I like the gunner, and I like the spellblade. I have not tried the Templar yet. I'm going to get around to it. Now, character customization, again, very stylish. And I think this one game that America hasn't seen yet that this is on par with and this Icarus Online. If you guys ever get a chance to look up that game, this game has style along that. And um, Ion, you know, like the nice bright colors and just have it so where you just feel like you have a little bit of control over the type of character that you have, even though the character is still based on all things. And as you can see here, you can make sexy characters like the spellblade like she as a male she just i mean male as a female she just exudes sexy like that there's, there's nothing else you can say about that but then you got the male you no know, swordsman when he's just, like you know that that's chill like I, I would love that type of outfit like look how look how great that looks and then i had the um the nice glowing eyes to go along with it so it's a lot of fun to make characters in this game as well the combat's fun. The cash shop, I'm going to show you the cash shop in a second, but as you see here, I made the Incredible Hulk, and it's pretty badass. I got to take some myself. Um, I, what I didn't show here is I did make Akuma, and you can make Akuma. Like, you can straight up make Akuma from Street Fighter, and it's sick. It just looks awesome. And you can be awkward and have a lolly moment. Like, this is just very awkward. I, I don't... It's just... There's this no way, like, like you see me struggle with words, it's just awkward. What, what else could you say about that? It's just like, 
you just want it to go away. <laughs> anyway, the cash out. For what I've seen right now, I can't be 100% sure on this. I'm, I'm pretty sure if I'm wrong, somebody's going to tell me later on and complain and say you did research, which I did research. But I don't see anything in the cash shop right now that says pay to win at all. I did a whole video on this in the past, and I didn't see anything then. I don't see anything now. It seems pretty much everything is just cheesy items, custom, um, cosmetic items, wings, clothes, and everything else under the sun that you could possibly pull your head, waist, or backside. Which is just stupid, but people pay for that. So, hey, it, it keeps the, the super XP potions out of the game. And, yeah, if I ever see anybody come near me with that, instant kill. I'm just saying, peace, be legendary.